Well, we're very excited. We've been talking about this for a long, long time. But they've been thinking about it for 16 years. Well, I think it's a very important symbol. Obviously, there are a lot of places you can pray that aren't quite as prominent. But the, the monastery um, where adoration will take place 24 hours a day before the Blessed Sacrament is, a, is an important sign and uh, that people can join in. And we, you know, we can pray in the cathedral itself, we can pray in our homes, we can pray in, in different ways. Uh, but just looking at it, and say, this is a house of prayer. And, and there, there are sisters in there who are praying for me and you and your families and all of us. The fact is the people of our diocese continue to be generous in a lot of different ways. Uh, and they responded to this uh, just in a normal, generous way. And uh, both those who made personal contributions and those who uh, may be part of the project itself, who have given discounts or, or uh, in-kind contributions. It, it, the support is in a variety of ways. One of the beautiful things that's happened as we've undertaken this task and the, is that uh, the sisters have been here for 16 years. Not many people really knew that they were here and yet they were praying for us all. Now they're much, much more known that they're there and therefore it's, it's an opportunity for people to ask them to pray for special needs to intercede. And, uh, and so that's a great gift, I think, that, that something that has been a treasure that's always been here is now, is now more widely known and therefore can be taken advantage of.